32 years in the business. How did, how did you get into building? Good question. Well, <laughs> it wasn't from my dear old dad. My father was a former street fighter back in Australia. And um, my mother was a bit, uh, a bit afraid of me following the same foot, um, footsteps. She sat me on the end of the bed one day and she said, darling, she said, you know, getting a trade is a great thing because, you know, you've got that in your pocket and you'll always be employed. And I'll tell you what, it's so true. Um, I did that. I, I, I wasn't a big fan of school. I left uh, when I was 16. I got my uh, high school certificate, but I didn't get my high school certificate. I went out and did a four-year apprenticeship as a carpenter. And in Australia, it's, it's quite a difficult process. Like, it's four years just to become a, tr a, a licensed carpenter and an additional three years to become a licensed contractor and you're doing structural engineering, you are ultimately doing a building degree. So if you don't do an apprenticeship, it's a five year building degree to become a licensed contractor. So that's what I did. After seven years, I, feel like, I felt like I had the green light to, to, to open a lot of opportunities, not only in the building industry, but to branch out you know, with, with media, with radio, and, and with consultant w consultancy type work. So that's kind of where it all started. And, um, yeah, 16 years in Australia, and now I've actually been here in the U.S. for 16 years now, doing the same thing. How did you wind up on Ellen's Design Challenge? Mate, that's a very good question. Um, there's a couple of different ways I could, I could do this. There's, there's a funny story, but I'll, I'll, I'll just tell it to you straight. I actually had a, a beautiful opportunity with uh, the Cosentino family. You know, they do Decton, they do Silestone. And um, there's a gentleman there that I've got to know quite well, and uh, it was a great opportunity. Uh, to go to Spain and uh, talk on behalf of the family. Uh, just a couple of days prior to that, I did a, a Skype interview and uh, for some furniture show. In fact, there were two furniture shows. There was one called, I think it was called Frame for Spike, and there was this other one with Ellen's DeGeneres. They didn't put her name on it. And um, just a couple of days after, they rang up and they said, listen, congratulations. Um, and I said, listen, I really appreciate it, but I have another opportunity. I'm going to have to pass. I said, you sure? I said, yes. You sure? I said, yes. Um, so I, I did pass it back and I said, well, can you be, um, can you uh, sit for another Skype interview in a half an hour? I said, absolutely. I, I'm actually in the middle of doing a project and I'm just sitting there with jeans and a torn shirt and I sit down there and I can't say exactly who it was, but everyone, there I am and everyone comes up on this Skype, Skype screen. It's like, Oh boy. And I think the first thing I said, I said, you guys suck. What am I going to do now? Of course I'm going to have to say yes. And um, Cosentino were just gracious to say, listen, you've got to go for that opportunity. And fortunately I did. And, and it wasn't that long ago that I was in Spain with the Cosentino family, just checking out all their great product. Um, but that's pretty much how it started. It started from a Skype interview. And um, I guess what they needed, they needed uh, some, some, some craftsmen that could, could pair up well with their designers that they had chosen, uh, not not people to kind of try to um, jump in front of the stage and say, "Hey, it's all me." Really, m we were more partnered up, and it was our job to really highlight these designers. And pretty much our job, our job, was to get them to the finale. Uh, 